Hello, welcome to episode 18 of our Ostrov Alpha 4 Let's Play. It is November 1737, and last episode we built a ton of houses, and we have more coming right down the pipe. We still have eight houses in the construction queue, but this area is more or less complete. For now, at least, we'll probably be adding some more. And we still have a discrepancy as far as open vacancies versus people looking for jobs. But this farm is already done with being harvested, as is this one. So I wish the uh, I wish the population screen would have a breakdown of open open jobs by type of building. I think that would be very useful. So right now it says there's 95 open vacancies. I realize a lot of those are probably laborers supplying different things, but I I would like to know by uh, by building, so I don't have to click on everything individually and see who's hiring. So now all the warehouses are hiring because all of the fishing docks have gone down to one for the winter. Terkachi, buy my shoes! And my charcoal. Oh yes, please. We're gonna get so much money from these guys. 440 clothes. Raspberries, do we have any? We have 106, so go right ahead. Buy those off of me. So we have... The last house in this area queue getting built right now. And then once that's done, we'll have uh, six more over on the other side. The first waterfront property we built, I don't know, a, several episodes ago. They'll be getting some more as well. And this well is looking okay. Could probably use another one or two over here. Actually, these two are basically full. Uh, we'll put a couple more down here. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we'll put two more right there. So they'll be fine. And so now we go over here. And we're going to be following the curve of these houses right here. So while they're doing that, let's go ahead and put some trees behind here. Don't have to do anything super fancy. Just a little bit of beautification behind here to make it just not a whole ton of houses everywhere. Not one thing wrong with that. They've got four wells right here, so we don't need to add any more. We still have tons of open vacancies, so this should help quite a bit. All right, and we also added six more houses with gardens down here, so our granaries and our market stalls up here should get a little bit more of a boost from that, although they don't seem to be buying any of this. Are we selling any? Yeah, we're selling some. Okay. That's good, at least. So maybe they just are selling so fast they can't keep it stocked. That should help. And we also put another clay pit down here. So that is substantially aiding the efforts of the constructors down here. So we now have quite a few houses down here. I don't want to take the time to count ex exhaustively here, but we've got, I don't know, at least 20, 20 or 30-ish down here. As far as jobs down here, we have five here. We have four here, four here. So that's 13, got 18, 19, should be 20, really. I could probably get away with that. And we'll have another two right here, so that's 22. 27 plus laborers. 34. Okay, so this is actually a pretty well built out area already. We could put another could put another weaver's workshop and a tailor's workshop. And let's, let's actually go ahead and do that. I do want to get the grid back. I know, I know. I'm trying to break the habit of the grid, but you know, it is uh, it's very difficult to break. So we'll go ahead and do two Weaver's Workshops, just back to back. All right, so like that. And then Taylor's Workshops as well, right next door. And we'll just do that. That will be quite nice. Those will be pretty close, actually. They might even be touching. But that will help keep this hemp here. Well, they've already transported it, but that'll help keep that in this general area. And we can actually have a warehouse as well for the clothing. Don't want to block this off. We can go ahead and have... Yeah, we'll go ahead and put a couple of warehouses here. 
Actually, I don't like how close that is. We'll get rid of that. We'll leave a little bit of space between them. And on the other side of this, we can put a cart parking. That should back up nicely to that building. There we go. So that is quite a building queue for this episode so far. But we have our 21 builders, if everyone is still working, which it appears they are. And they are, yep. So this area is going to get built out just a little bit more. These guys should still be able to access this market without any issue, and it seems that they are, which is good. Still have quite a few open vacancies. And we're at the point now where we can actually probably raise the base wage or increase the uh, market products price. We should actually increase the rent some, so we'll go ahead and do that. I Theoretically, the common wisdom is you're supposed to get this to 600, so it charges them $20 a day in rent, which sounds dumb until you realize that the way the game calculates rent is it'll do, uh, every day it'll take a 30th of the rent price, more or less, roughly. But if the family doesn't have the money to pay it, it won't withdraw. So these people have a chance to actually spend the money on food and different goods and things from the market. And that way you boost your economy a little bit. And if anyone ever gets wealthy, you get the extra. So you can actually see if you go to population, the wealth distribution is all between zero and five. Because we have our rent set to right now 150. So this divided by 30 is math. I took music major math, so I'm garbage at it. But that number is significantly higher than five. So nobody ever has more than that amount of money. And that way it keeps the economy balanced. Everyone has more or less the same amount of money. Even the mayor, who does not live there, who lives here. It's infamous in Ostrov towns that the mayor always has just an insane amount of money. Not here. He's got 83 cents. Well, 98 now. But he's looking fine. And they're, they're never complaining about not having any money because they have enough to buy the goods at the market. Now snow is melting. Our town is looking fantastic. Look at all these houses. And it's not all on a grid. Some of it is, but not all of it. I think this is looking great. These people are complaining they don't have enough variety. It can't be that house. It's that house. Yep, there you go. They've got a pretty good amount of money. So they should be able to buy no problem. All right, now we're a little more even-footed. We have six open vacancies for men, zero for women. Women are actually looking for jobs. But when the uh, farm laborers, we can actually, we can open this all the way up to 20 if we wanted to. And that'll be fine, because we uh, want people to be able to maximize their efficiency. All right, we have one more house that has to get built right here. And then, yeah, see, look at all these. I know we had a extended diatribe about the attics in the houses that were added. And there's a few that have them. You can see the uh, windows right here. Right here. I just... What a lovely variety. Wow. Okay, 40-year-old man, 18-year-old wife. Hmm. I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, okay. That, I just... Hmm. That's that. It's kind of suspect. Not not here necessarily to say that uh, that kind of thing is wrong, but that's that just seems that's that's a very large age difference. I don't know. Maybe uh, 18th century Ukraine is a little different from 21st century America. I think that would raise a lot of red flags here. Right, so last house is just about complete. That's gonna be another one with a little uh, attic thing, isn't it? Is there a window on this side? No. Well, this one does, so that's fine. All right, so all these houses are built. We are now over 400 population. Looking pretty good. It was just a few episodes ago we passed 300. We still have open vacancies. All right, well, we we want to give the uh, the game a chance to actually, you know, keep up with the uh, the job creation here. So this oil workshop right here is being constructed. And then they'll be building this gazebo right here just as a little rest area. So this will allow us to have our sunflower production kind of stay here instead of going all the way up here where our trading post is. All right, so let's go ahead and get this supplied. We're just going to copy paste from 
the other ones, and that should take care of that. And let's see, can we sell these guys anything? Salt? Absolutely we can. Sunflower oil? Absolutely we can. Flour? We have plenty, but we could probably use some more sunflower. We're not exporting, so that is fine. How is our cow herds looking? We've got 9 here, 8 here, 20 here, 19 here. We just killed a couple bulls last time. So right here we can go ahead and want to leave at least one that is one year old so it can reproduce over the summer and that's fine that'll be good and that will get us some more hides as well because we are running low on those because we have to build leather build leather we have to get leather to make shoes and they are moving right along i don't know why we don't have two uh oh it's the off season okay so that makes sense that is working out just fine and this well was just complete, so we'll go ahead and turn off production for that. And these are, honestly, these are still looking fine, but we're just future-proofing a little bit. Because that is one of those things, if they don't have water, they are going to leave. Alright, turn that off. And now we're building all these weavers' workshops and tailors' workshops. So this will add quite a few jobs in the uh, wintertime here. So let's actually go to one of our previous ones and remind ourselves how this was set up. Oh, I never actually took care of that. Well, we don't want them working here during harvest season, which could be August, September, October, November. And we don't want them working during planting season, which could be, eh, could be March, April, May. So we'll just go ahead and do that. On season hire four, off season hire zero. Yeah, so that was just finished building, so we'll do that. Then we will restore that as well. And let's check our tailor's workshop. And we'll do the same thing here. Yeah, okay. I think, let me just double check. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I had. Yeah, so once this one is built, we will copy all of that as well. And that will help even things out, so to speak. Of course, they're going to take forever and a day to finish this one. But wow, that is... That's actually going pretty fast. We're going to have to queue up some more stuff. I thought this was going to take most of this episode to build out. Anyway, we'll do that. Do that. And then we'll head on down here. And this is... Okay, that looks kind of weird. Little, little close, just a little tiny bit. We can pretend it's a interesting, weird little building. All right, so warehouse, we can go ahead and do. Oh, it doesn't let you store hemp. Okay, okay, there we go. So we'll do hemp ten thousand, and then this one can probably be either textile or clothing. probably venture to say clothing would be more useful than having textile built up because it seems to be that the uh, having the backlog of the complete production is reason enough to hold hemp up right here so we'll go ahead and make this to be clothing right here I don't know why I didn't see it the first time there we go and then of course we will go to our other warehouses and copy all of those settings this is just such a convenient feature that they've implemented. It, it was so annoying before. All right, and while we have 18 warehouses, sheesh, all right. So our building queue is completely clear, and it's May. I thought this would take the entire episode. So let's see. We still have, actually, right now it's pretty balanced. I wonder what it's going to look like in... Uh, in the fall. Okay, so now all those vacancies opened up to work in the different processing facilities. So we can actually stand to have a few more houses. We already planted all those. Yeah, because unemployment is not necessarily a bad thing in your town if you have the actual uh, systems in place to make sure that it doesn't cause problems with your population. And right now we are very secure in how our population is 
fed and everything, so I think we're actually in pretty good shape. We don't really have to worry about it. So we'll go ahead and add a few more houses right here. I'll angle this one just a tiny bit more. Yeah, that'll be nice. And then of course right here we can go ahead and do another one of our little tree-lined avenues with this small arch right here. And then we'll turn this around and come in from the other side. Game doesn't like that very much. Right like that. And then of course the fence. So I wonder if we can get this to go... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's nice. Except I kind of messed that up. Eh. Yeah, I'll, I'll redo that. Imagine in real life if you could build a fence that easily. That would be very convenient. Alright, that's not perfect, but hey, what is an 18th century Ukraine, huh? Alright, so we'll see if we can put that there. And then get this as close as we can. There we go. That is something I thought the game was going to crash right there. Okay, well, let's hope that doesn't happen. So let's go ahead and put some uh, more birch trees right here and here. Hmm, I thought we would almost get it in. But we'll go ahead and do too close to another tree. Oh, that's right, because I planted one right there. Tree right there. Right there, too close to another tree. All right, so we'll, we'll forget that one. And then right here. All right, so that'll actually work out really nice. That'll be quite appealing and maintain a little bit of order here, but not too much. All right. And of course, cart parking, we'll order some carts. Did they already build all of these? They did. And our men are working here, but there's a... Uh, there's no sunflowers. Hmm. So we can actually, for oil workshops, we can actually go ahead during the growing season and remove those as jobs because they will just do this during, let's say, October through February. And that will make that a little easier. Yeah, very good. Shoes are looking all right. These guys are still looking good. Cool. Ah, we are in a very good position. Our town is pretty much self-regulating at this point. How are we looking on fish? Are we fully employed here? We are, so we could possibly add a few more of these, but I honestly, I don't think we need to right now. And have we mined all of our limestone yet? No, there's still limestone. Wow, there's still 25,000 limestone left. That is... Surprising, we're already 17 years in. I figured we would have been uh, been out of it by now. Lime kiln is still doing its thing. Lime works is doing its thing. Cart shed's doing its thing. We're, we're looking good. We are cruising right along. And these houses, when they're built, should be just enough to get this equaled out, more or less. Yeah, go ahead and buy some... 250 clothing. We're going to have tons more soon. So don't worry about that. So this is already shaping up to be really nice down here. We have all these houses. They've got plenty of water. They've got a nice market right here. And I want to do something else with this area right here. Maybe make a little, little park with some trees and benches and fence that in. Because that's a little irregular area. We will need to have a graveyard but I, I don't exactly know where I want that to be quite yet. And of course, we'll probably have to build another market down here when we expand this way. But we've crammed quite a bit into really not that big of an area. If we go all the way out, this is still pretty compact for 411 residents. If this, of course, is our trading post. This is where people come into the town. So this is looking pretty good. I kind of like it's orderly, but it's not... It's not just stupid for the sake of being stupid, if you, you know what I'm getting at. I like it. I think it's good. Now, as far as chickens go, we could probably stand to have another chicken coop. Yeah, these guys are working just fine. Somebody else died. All right, so 
Have we filled this up? Nah, we're halfway through. That's fine. But we can go ahead and put another chicken coop down here. If I can remember where it is. Can't, can't ever see anything. All right, so we don't have room in this little area right here to put chickens. I don't necessarily want to put them right here. We could put some over here by the farm. So let's go ahead and eyedropper that to get the grid back. And chicken coop. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll put that right here, and then we can have something else go right there. So that'll be fine. What what can we put right here? What would be good? Not another construction office. Probably wouldn't hurt to have more carts available. So we can put one of those right there. And that'll be good. Looking fantastic. This is this is just going so well. I'm very pleased. We're already harvesting. It's going very well. We have a lot of open vacancies for all the uh, the farm laborers. But if we can harvest this entire farm every season, then hey, that's worth it. That's good for me. And they've got plenty of that. Hemp is getting stored in the warehouse. And the weavers will be hired soon. Well, December soon to work on that. I just wish you could do seasonal hiring with the construction office. I, I don't know why they don't have that. It seems like it would be kind of a no-brainer, in my opinion. But they're almost done with those houses, and then we'll have this, and then we can get some chickens in here. You know what? This could be a fatal mistake, but I think we can get away with having another chicken thing right here. It'll be right next to each other. We should be fine because now we can feed the chickens all sorts of stuff. Well, okay, this is the pigs that'll take all that stuff. Wheat, buckwheat, or sunflower. And now we're going to have enough wheat to probably do it, I think. Yeah, we're not even storing wheat in the granaries. Where are we putting it? Is it just staying in the farms? More or less, yeah. Well, that should be fine. Alright, so all of these houses are done. I think it's looking great. I wish we had a little bit of roof variety here, but we have these little streets are looking good. This is looking good right here. We could put some trees in front of these houses. We could just kind of leave this like this. I don't know, I kind of like, kind of like it just left like that. We might beauty that up a little bit. Cart parking or the carts. And then we got chicken coop, chicken coop. And we can go ahead and get this stuff all supplied. But what, what do we have the other ones set to? 1,500, 500, and zero. Yeah, that should be sufficient. Should work okay. We might have to import some buckwheat. Yeah, we might actually have to. Well, we do only have a couple fields. We have two fields that are producing potatoes and buckwheat, and this year one of them was on a fallow, so I don't... Maybe I'm not super worried about it. But as soon as they finish this chicken coop, then we can copy all the settings. It's like a little maze to get in and out of these two right here. Just go zoop. They're already filling that up, and this will be not far behind. There we go. All right, so let's go up to this guy and copy that and copy that. And then as soon as that's done, we can transfer some hatchlings over and chickens over. And then I think that's going to do it for this episode. We'll wait for them to supply this just a little bit more. Now they probably would benefit from having a platform kind of close by because so I think the next closest one is way up here that is the one bad thing about having uh, animal production this far inland all right can you buy yes you can clothing we don't have any quite yet we are going to go ahead and buy buckwheat just because well we have a ton of money and we can afford it and it's always a good idea we need iron as well all right, so this is fully supplied. This is just about there. It will be pretty soon. 
So we'll go ahead and get all these in here. We'll do, let's say, let's do 10 chickens and 10 hatchlings apiece. Relocate to that one first, and then we'll do the same thing again. And that way they will all be on completely equal footing with 10, 10, and 10 of each. And once that's done, I think we will be all finished with today's episode. And that platform is complete, and that's good to go. Alright, and these chickens are located, and these will be very shortly. They should be arriving momentarily. <laughs> How about that? that? That one guy came in and all of a sudden you have, you have 10 chickens and 10 hatchlings. Hey, but we got plenty of chickens. Look at them go. They're just pecking away. Let's slow that down so it's like actual real time. Yeah, look at that. It's just like real chickens. But that's all we got for today's episode. We got a whole bunch of stuff done, and I think we're in a very, very good place indeed. As always, thank you very much for watching and being a part of our community. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. I love talking to you guys about the game or any other questions you might have. But that's all we got for today. We will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.